Hey guys, so thank you for tuning in. These are the alcohol inks that I'm using. That is a sparkly unicorn one, a blue, this is the purple, another Baja blue, and magenta. It's like a pink color. And what we're doing today is we took a black based tumbler that is already prepped. When I say prep, I use a stainless steel prep and I remove the coating from the stainless steel tumbler before I paint it with a matte black paint. The reason why I use matte is because I find the epoxy doesn't repel against it. So I mix the epoxy and you'll see me doing that here in a few minutes. Um, not minutes, moments. <laughs> Sorry. And um, you're gonna mix for three, four minutes. You want it to be um, clear, smooth, and um, I don't really worry about the bubbles, to be honest, simply because once the epoxy is rotating around on the cup, the bubbles will pop on their own. You can use a torch to kind of help that process. We're using um, alcohol inks, and that's also going to help with bubbles in there as well. So for this type of cup, I'm not too worried about bubbles in my epoxy. I'm just going to mix that stuff and get it ready for the cup. So while I'm mixing, I will play you a little bit of music so you don't have to hear me talking. Um, cause I don't know what all I would be talking about while I'm mixing epoxy. Um, I will tell you this, if you have never used epoxy before, you wanna make sure you have correct PPE. So that's gonna be a mask um, with the filters on it, just so you don't get any fumes or whatnot. It can, you know, but I mean, if you choose not to, you choose not to, to each his own, right? And gloves. So you will see me mixing epoxy in, I don't have any gloves on, and uh, I know that's crazy, but I, I don't, I should. Um, so don't judge me there. I know I'm still mixing epoxy. What can you say? I'm an overachiever. I like to make sure that stuff is mixed very well because if you don't mix your epoxy very well, you will end up with a sticky cup that could possibly be toxic. Okay, so if you didn't mix your epoxy well whenever you're making your cup and it is sticky, you're going to want to sand that sucker down as much as you can. That way you remove that layer of epoxy and then you just keep on with your cup, okay? 
So mix, 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 mix. We are about to get to the fun part, I promise. Just hang tight. Here I am, overachiever. I probably mix this stuff for a good five minutes. Um, and as I get better at editing my videos, I'll be able to fast forward through this long mixing process. So you can see right there how when the epoxy was um, being mixed, it went from being kind of cloudy. Now it's a lot thinner. And yes, there's bubbles. Don't come for me. Like I said before, I don't care about the bubbles. They will be taken care of when we put this stuff on the cup, which we're about to do. You can see that consistency. Um, you're looking for like a, like a warm honey is I think how I'll describe the consistency of that. So I mix until I get to the consistency that I prefer. Now, this is not a fast set. If this was a fast set, I'd have to work way much faster, but I wouldn't suggest using a fast set for cups like this, simply because you want that epoxy to be able to be um, moving around so your alcohol inks move to you get the desired look that you want. Okay, and I'm still mixing. This is ridiculous. Sorry, guys. I, I, do, I do apologize. Um, I will put some gloves on in just a moment. So, how about some more music? back so what you see now is me applying the epoxy this is just the way I do it there are so many different ways you do what is comfortable for you now I take and I make sure the whole entire cup is covered um, whenever you put your cup on the spinner and I should have told you that in the very beginning the butt of the cup what I'm running right now you want to make sure that is level up and down Okay, from like the table, the surface that you have, you want to make sure it's level there. If it's level there, you're not going to have any problems with um, any kind of beveled edges at the bottom or at the top. You'll see sometimes it like mushrooms. And the reason why it does is because it's not level. When I first started doing cups, I was leveling at the top of the cup where my hand is rubbing right now. And I was having a lot of problems. And somebody was like, no, you level it from the butt. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny um so we're getting that epoxy on there you want to have a, a good coat on here because like I said you're gonna be dropping those alcohol inks on there and when you do that you want the alcohol inks to be able to move freely so now once we get all this moved on here I think I do take a torch and I just kind of run it just to kind of heat that epoxy up so those alcohol inks alcohol inks move more freely um so this is the very first time i'm doing this style and y'all you're gonna see why i'm completely obsessed with this and if you are enjoying this tutorial so far even with my 10 hours of mixing epoxy please click the follow um and subscribe i think it's just subscribe on youtube i don't know i'm brand new to all this so Y'all might have to school me on that in the comments below, <laughs> but I will list everything that I use whenever I post this on here for you guys. So they'll be listed down below. So you'll see me dropping the alcohol inks on there. And I know 
you're thinking, oh my gosh, you can't even see the colors because the base is so dark. Watch the magic. Trust me, just stay tuned because it's going to be magnificent. Like, this cup is so dang pretty. And that's just another shade of blue. I just picked the colors that I just liked. And you can do it any way you want. Um, any color combinations that you think of. I mean, choices are endless. It's just, you know, the technique of doing this is so different than anything I'd ever seen before. And I had to try it for myself. Um, so, just dropping some more inks. That's the purple. So I did two of the blues. So I had two different variations of blue on there. And to be honest, whenever the cup finishes, I don't see the two different colors. So I might have to switch that up next time and see if it does make a difference or not. I don't know. But like I said, options are endless with this. So I'm just dropping those alcohol inks on there. Just a little drop up and down the cup. There's no... Um, certain way to do this now that magenta right there you can see how much thicker it is I like it um, but it is kind of thick and it looks like it's brown on there but it's actually like this um, reddish color um, red pink um, you'll see whenever I drop the white on there in a little bit but I really like how this cup came out let's see do, 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 do. Oh, here comes some more blue. <laughs> I guess I needed to go break up that um, pink a little bit. Because I think I went a little heavy on it because it was so thick coming out of there. It's crazy how the consistencies, of the, different, the consistencies of the different colors are whenever you use these alcohol inks. Um, I'm using the blues were Marabou brand and the other colors i use are pinata now that uh, sparkly one you'll see me use in a minute that one is from marabou alcohol inks as well and again i'll link everything below for you guys so you can go check it out i'm letting that kind of settle in there i believe i'm using a little bit of heat to the side yeah, you can see because the torch is way, way far away from the cup. So I'm kind of just hitting it with the heat a little bit just so those alcohol inks get some moving. Now I'm coming in with that unicorn. Um, and now you're going to see some of the colors come out, which is so pretty. I wanted a little shimmer in this. And this cup is totally giving me like um, galaxy vibes. It's so pretty. Okay, so I took, and the rest of the epoxy I had left over, I added white alcohol ink to it. Just like three or four drops. And I'm just literally just drizzling this all over the cup. That's all I'm doing. And you'll see all the colors pop out. And this stuff moves around so much. And it just you just keep playing with it. Now I'll go back in with a little bit more heat to get that moving around. And I will take and turn the cup going the other way just to get the movement going the opposite way to get some more motion inside of the cup.
Okay, so now you see me coming in with a popsicle stick and a little bit of extra epoxy. And I should have been paying more attention because I keep dipping the different colors back in there and I turn that epoxy purple, but it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. But what I'm doing is for some reason, some of the epoxy repelled and there were some like divots, which is fine. If that happens and you don't catch it and your cup cures, Whenever you put your second coat on there, it will fill it in. You might have to put two more coats on there. Just keep coating, coating the cup until it is completely smooth on the outside. Um, you might have to do like a little light sanding in between the coats. It just really depends on your preference. There's really no wrong way to do it, but you do want a smooth, smooth surface. Okay, so I go in and I do that and eventually I end up literally taking the cup off of the um, turner and I tilt it downwards just to get more motion going up and down of the cup. Um, that's just my personal preference. You don't have to do that at all. Um, you turn it, you know, going left, going right, and those alcohol leaks just move around freely and every cup is going to be completely different. See, now I've got it going the other way and you'll see that ink starting to shift a different direction. These cups are more freestyle base. Um, you just keep keep playing with it and getting it to look exactly what you want. Um, so yeah, this cup came out absolutely gorgeous. And um, if you guys are really liking this, let me know. And I will keep making tutorial videos for y'all. Hope you enjoyed. Um, again, click subscribe so you can catch all the videos that I will be sharing um, later on in the future. Thanks guys.